Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. How are things? Oh, not bad. Good. What would be one of the first uh, tangible things, a specific action that you would focus on during the first 60 days, you know, two, three months of your premiership? What is one of the, the first priorities that, the well, first things that you do? You know, there's so much to do. <laughs> there's a lot of firsts out there. Obviously, first of all, cabinet. Uh, you know, you have to put together your cabinet. Thankfully, putting a cabinet uh, out of the group of MLAs that we have now on our side, uh, in our caucus, will not be difficult. But we need a significantly smaller cabinet. Um, I've, I've been uh, in cabinets and outside of cabinets in our government where size uh, varied significantly from premier to premier. But I have to tell you, uh, having a cabinet as large as it is right now is, is not my style of governance. Is transparency and transformation a ministry to you? No. To, transparency and transformation, to me, is something that permeates the entire government. You know, that, that should be something that you don't even talk about because it should be something that is simply done in every ministry. With virtually no, you know, not, not a single backbencher or minister has put their support or has in, in, endorsed your campaign for the, the leadership, how do you respond to concerns that you would be an ineffective leader of the PC caucus as you know, all of your colleagues want someone else in that chair? They must know you and they they're so. still choosing the other. Sure they do. You know, I, Many of our MLAs were convinced for some reason that uh, it has to be quote unquote someone from the outside. And, and I argue with that. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, I, I question the logic of it uh, from an MLA's perspective. No one can come into this caucus and lend the caucus and government his or her own credibility. I can't lend you my credibility. You have to earn your own.